Zach, let's get back to the hotel. First Anna, then Becky, now Diane. I'm not looking forward to writing this investigation report. Agent Morgan. York. Do you have a moment? What is it, George? There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Do you have any time later? Can't we just do it here? If possible, I'd like to go to a bar. Of course, we don't really have to. A bar? Now that sounds like a good idea. Zach, what do you think? We can go drinking with George, or turn him down and head back to the hotel. Oh, God. In the name of completion, let's go for a drink. Welcome back. It's more Deadly Premonition. Just can't put this game down. George, that scar on your cheek. Where did you get it? This? Didn't I tell you? Well, it's not from work. I got it when I was a kid. A childhood injury. Tree climbing? I used to get a few scrapes myself climbing the big tree in our backyard. I used to climb it a lot. And fall out of it a lot. <laughs> this wasn't anything like that, though. It was my mother. She did it. I'm sorry, George. Don't worry. It's ancient history. The world is flooded with unreasonable violence. The strong overpower the weak, adults over children, men over women, and criminals over their victims. I have no memories of my father. He left before I knew him. My mother would hit me every time I asked why. And it didn't stop there. If I ate too slow, left my shoes scattered around, TV volume too loud, she found reasons to hit me. Hit me bad. The worst was what she called the tree punishment. She'd whip my back with these thin tree branches like a whip. Please, Mama. I won't do it again. Tree punishment was definitely the worst, I tell you. Just hearing those words used to make me shiver and want to pass out. And that's why I didn't want to show you those scars on my back. Every time after the tree punishment, she'd always say the same thing. This is hurting the tree more than it is hurting you. And me, being a naive, dumb kid, I believed her. I went to the woods to apologize to the trees. asking myself, why is she hurting me this way? I thought long and hard about it. In the end, I just figured I'm weaker than her. That's why. It's the law of Mother Nature at work. The strong eat the weak. But now, you have the power to protect the weak. That's right. Perhaps I should thank my mother for guiding me into this line of work. York. I've been an arrogant fool, haven't I? And if it weren't for me, both Becky and Diane would still be alive. I could have saved them both. You know, it's almost like they died because of me. You're out of your mind. I invited you to this bar for a drink. But I guess this bar is my confession chamber, and I wanted you to listen. And to tell you, well, you must already hate me for causing all these problems, not following your orders. York, I'm sorry. I'll follow your orders from now on. You'll have my total cooperation. George, you've been as cooperative as you can be. You even invited an FBI guy to a bar for drinks. You've done a good job protecting this town. 
and the folks here respect you for that. Nobody can blame you for anything. Thanks. I do feel a little better. Kiss him, you fool. <laughs> Kiss him. <laughs> That's all I was thinking. I'm sorry. What's this? Hello, Carol. Hey, Carol. Becky is dead. Diane, too. We've got Nick in custody as a suspect. Nick didn't do it. Ah, I know. You seem sure. Carol, you took a locket from Diane, didn't you? A locket with this mark on it. <laughs> show, show, show the mark. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Busy, gotta go. What? Oh, she's singing. That's why she's wearing a feather bow. I thought it was getting a round of applause. I was so excited. What is that walk? Is the floor wet? The drool of every man in the building. Oh, brace yourself, folks. It's the singing section. Okay, the piano, props. That was amazing piano work. It was a really nice melody. I didn't understand a fucking word that that woman was saying. Not a fucking word. Oh, if I talk to her, will she sing? Hey there, you crazy sort of speech impediment suffering woman. My brother is in the sheriff's department, isn't he? Poor guy having to watch over Nick. Who didn't even do anything. You seem awfully sure. Oh yeah, what can I get you? Not your fault in the case, I figure. You look... Are you twins and you fell out? Is that what's going on? Anyways, I'm not going to try and dilly-dally too much. Can we leave now, George? George? Can we leave? Please, George. Sorry to keep you waiting, boys. Zack. Emily is already a goddess of the forest. Jeez. Let's forget work for a bit and drink a little, shall we? York? Why is she here? I just thought the more the merrier. You know, to relax and get loose. Is this a problem? No, of course not. Find me, Emily, but I'm pooped. I think I'll just call it a night. 
George, I just got here and you're walking out on me? I was hoping the three of us could have a drink and let out a little steam. Let off a little steam. <laughs> I'm afraid I've already had enough. And I already had a good man to man with York. So I'll see you guys. It's a date. Get out, George. Get the smint. <laughs> it's time to get a love interest. If that's a chapter, I'm going to stab myself in the head. There we go. I think George likes you, but he's avoiding you all at the same time. <laughs> How astute. There's a reason? Nothing worth going into. It's a thing of the past. Ooh. Yeah, is he one of Rexes? Gross. <laughs> okay. He did ask me out when I first came to town. I was still in high school. But I never really considered him my type. And there's the age gap thing, too. I respect him, of course. Or I wouldn't have taken this job otherwise. So, did you move to this town alone? Of course not. I came with my parents. Tell me about them, then. Sure, why not? My dad dealt in stocks in New York. He was hardly at home when I was a kid, always working. Those pieces of paper were far more important to him than I was. Which is no different now, really. I, I don't see much of him. My mother? Totally different story. A wonderful person that I still respect. She was always kind and understanding. Not only that, but she would always help me find my way. She could be fierce, too, scolding me if I took a wrong step. We had our battles, sure, but all in all, she was a wonderful mother. Past tense? Yeah, she's gone now. Cancer, just before I graduated high school. She gave this to me just before she died. I take it with me wherever I go. It's what I treasure most. I'm sure she's very proud of you. Kiss her, you fool! <laughs> I've got the wrong... I pick up on signals bad. <laughs> so, uh... <sighs> We're not killing any galaxy of I terror. I had a good time tonight. Good night. See you tomorrow. As if I put on my You're FBI okay. beam. I will. Yes. Please don't lie to us, okay? I won't. Don't worry. I won't. Give it your Mac. <laughs> See you, love. <laughs> I think she's meant to come in as like a stunning female role. Nope. She's vanished. <laughs> she's gone. I don't want that shit car. I want my fast one. What's up there? Yeah, fucking... The record player? I thought these collecting card crowd trading cards were all of characters. It's gonna get stupid if it's just household object. Objects? <laughs> Jesus, what's wrong with me? Okay. Let's uh, accept that I'm not gonna get my fast car. I think I'm cruising back to the hotel. So, I shall see you when I get there. We're back and we're getting quizzed. I don't think I'm going to be doing too much controlling in this one. It's time for the quiz, isn't it? Piddly it down around outside. Epic shirt trousers combo. The, the off salmon peachy shirt. <laughs> The blue stripe trousers that look like a candy floss salesman. Okay. Jack, let's go over our progress. Let's York. Let's. From what Olivia told us, and the sketchbook we found at Becky's house, Nick and Diane became our primary suspects. That they did. There were a couple of reasons for this. 
first, Becky gave the missing locket to Diane. Also, Nick has no alibi for when Anna and Becky were killed. We followed Nick to the art gallery, which led us, unfortunately, to our third victim. The third victim, Diane, was strung up in the entrance hall of the art gallery. Her hands were tied and a knife was sticking out of her chest. However, there was a marked difference from the previous crimes. Do you remember what that was, Zach? No. Multiple bodies? Yeah, it was right after the crime. That's right. Diane was still alive. Yeah. This suggests that very little time had passed since the crime was committed. Which means the criminal was still close by. It was somewhere near the scene. There are two possible candidates. Nick was knocked out in the entrance. Zach, who was the other person in the gallery? Uh, Kaysen. Good old chubby FK was in the gallery. That's right. Kaysen. We followed Willie, good dog, all the way to him. Kaysen's statement came out as follows. He and Diane were in a physical relationship. That was why he visited the gallery. The two were in the middle of such a meeting when Nick showed up. Diane lost her cool and shut Kaysen up in the basement. Now what did Kaysen hear when he was locked up? Uh, footsteps. Boots. He heard bootsteps. That's it. The sound of boots passing by. Nick was wearing boots that day which means it was likely that Diane met with Nick in her room. Nick said he argued verbally with Diane about her playing around with men, but they eventually decided to go out drinking to make up. However, immediately after that, Nick was attacked by someone in the entrance hall and knocked unconscious. We saw the rest. Zach, do you think that Nick is our serial killer? No, I don't think it's Nick. Me too. Russia sent in a report too. He found a large volume of red seeds in Diane's stomach. This confirms her as a victim of the raincoat killer. Remaining leads. There is the locket, which is in Carol's possession. Which we want. The man with the tattooed back and the upside down peace sign. There's a lot left to answer. I hope the coffee will give us more guidance tomorrow. Oh. The coffee. You are... I still can't get over here. Cuckoo for Cocoa Pops, this dude is. Zach, what did you think about George pouring his heart out? I was surprised. It's the end of a monarchy. Our friend. What the fuck? Emily? What's going on? Do you know what time it is? Sexy time. Um, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't sleep, so I was drinking alone. mother was a very kind woman. She always smiled so brightly. Baked cakes and cookies every day. She'd say that I needed the sugar because I spent so much time thinking. My father was always quiet. We never talked much. He was a federal every agent. Every now and then you'll just like me. thrust his pelvis towards yeah, Emily. Ever at home. <laughs> the only words he ever had for me were harsh ones. I had a vivid imagination, and I remember he once said this to me. There are plenty of crazy things in this world. You don't have to go dreaming them up. And it's my job to make sense out of them. One day you'll understand what I'm saying. My father was one of the first to ever use criminal profiling to catch bad guys. 
And so now I'm doing exactly the same job that he did. Like father, like son. Can I ask you something? Shoot. Mind if it's something personal? Fire away. Who's Zach? Zach is a friend of mine. Oh, so you do have friends. Yeah. He's my only friend. What kind of person is he then? Well, I, I've never seen his face. But he's always with me, and we discuss everything. When did you become friends? time ago. Back when I was a child. Ooh. I was seven. I woke up one morning to hear my mother crying in the living room. This wasn't normal, so... I headed in to see her. My father was there pointing a gun at my mother. I was so scared. I closed my eyes, so I, I don't remember much more. But I do remember the words my father said to me. At times we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. When I came back to my senses, they were both dead. He shot my mother and then killed himself. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Zach's with me. It was around that time that we became friends. I'm here. I'm with you, he said. I'll be here always. We can get through this together. Quite aside from that terrible scene in front of me, that voice seemed to make me calmer. And here we are, working together, getting through things. This is the first time I've ever told anyone about this. I wonder if Zack will get angry. Damn Skiffy, I'm angry. Telling any troll up that turns upon your doorstep. Sad story, but... I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but I'm sure there was a reason for what your father did. I know. I think maybe I became an agent to find out why he did what he did. Oh, oh yeah, York, I, I forgot to thank you. Thank me? For what? You saved my life. If you didn't save me at the gallery, I would have died along with Diane. No need to thank me for that. I'm pretty useless. I couldn't save Becky. I couldn't save Diane. What did you just say? Useless? <laughs> I was never expecting to hear you say that. Huh. There might be a modest guy in you after all. Finally, you noticed? You're a little slow, aren't you? may be hopeless, <laughs> but not useless. Zach, do you think Emily got home safely? She didn't make sure. It's not very anyway, I think it's that. more serious of a situation than I thought. Do you remember our conversation with Emily? I was there. She's really interested in you. You betray me. I think she's starting to have certain feelings for you. Well, it's not easy. If that's the case, Zack, you and I are rivals. This is a very serious situation indeed. Well, if it comes to that, let it be a fair fight. Agreed? No, I'm going to drench up your past and break your heart. <laughs> Keep replaying your mother's murder over and over in your head. How's it get the girl? <laughs> Oh, Thomas! 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 Thomas!
Let me out of here. Come on, please. I know you're there. Come on, please. So it's a brewing. There's no time to be thinking with your pecker folks. Thomas! 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 Nicky's losing his mind. Oh God, don't sing. Up <laughs> Papa, up the the picture. How about that? There we have it. A, a, you know, a bit of a story thing. But we learnt about Zach. How about that? We, I never expected that. Anyways, Sam, I will see my wages. <clears throat> I will see you next time. We will do more ped peddly demonition. What? <clears throat> Deadly premonition. I got loads of money, so I'm going to spend it. Um, I'll see you next time. We will do some more and. It's getting interesting. Don't skip out on me now. If I've got to do these, then you've got to sit through it as well. Don't leave me. See you next time. Take care, everyone.